<laughs> the initial reason for the setup of the group was to create a safe space for young Muslim Bangladeshi men in Hyde and look at issues affecting them. Next Gen been, uh, like I said, been part, we've been running for 18 months now and from day one they've been taking part in various projects in Hyde, especially in partnership projects with other agencies, uh, voluntary agencies and uh, local authority agencies as well. Uh, and the, the reason we got nominated is the fact that to see as a young group being a youth-led group and getting involved of other activities. The most recent activity they got involved with was the Isle of Hyde event, which was one of the biggest events that happened in Hyde. Uh, and that um, event was looking at community cohesion in a, in a fun, in, in interactive way. Uh, the next group wanted to set up a, a fun day for all event, and that was looking at getting people from both communities, the white community and the Asian community, to come together in a fun, on a, on a similar platform. <laughs> the award it means a lot to us because obviously we've been we've been putting a lot of time into Next Gen itself over the last 18 months or so. We put a lot of time outside of Next Gen helping everyone else out, and then um, the event to be recognised like as one of the prizes of Tameside is a success in itself for us. And um, we're just really proud that we we actually even got nominated, let alone win it. I think this is a big, big step, you know, just to get the recognition and the appreciation to say thank you, you know, you've done well. We just saw all the waste going to the tip, perfectly good furniture when we knew there was needy people. So we got an idea of if there was any way we could save this furniture and now sold items going to landfill. Some of them have been from New Charter, we get a lot of stuff from New Charter, they're, they're, they're great with us, you know, they've got their hand on our shoulder and guiding us. So we get that from them, we clean them up as good as we can, we steam clean all these and make a good job. I mean, that that's too nice to go on a tip, isn't it? Because obviously we've got overheads that we have to pay, so, but we have supplied free as well, some free furniture to people who are very, very needy. Whether it's a bed, a sofa, if it's bedding, because we collect the bedding, if that's okay, because everything is washed, all the furniture is steam cleaned. It's a shame when they've got children and they're going into a property with nothing and they can't even afford to get anything, so they come and visit us and we see how we, you know, can help them out and what we can supply. It's constantly saying thank you, thank you, I don't know what to do without you. Yeah. I mean, it's like that guy over here, isn't it, in those bags? Yeah, yeah. He's just absolutely looked to bits with it. He's even bought us a bar of chocolate, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> that's the pay. Mm. You know, nobody on here gets any wages, so that's our pay. Any any stuff out there, we'll have it. So anybody on there looking now, Definitely. we'll take it. Anything, yeah. I'm on my way, can't stop me now. I'm Andrew. Uh, I started Pick First up in 1997 for people who learned what it was to have a say, a big voice and we just got stronger. Everybody's an individual and therefore they should decide on what they want, how they want to run their lives and not be told how to run it. Alan, who's got the Volunteer of the Year award, is an absolutely fantastic guy who's been around at People First and we've seen him grow from probably about six, seven years he's been around now. Um, and. He's grown, he's become more confident, he's supported loads of people over time. He's our chairperson, he does the finances, he makes sure the organisation's in order. He really has got a lot of energy and enthusiasm to see the organisation grow and we really think that he deserves the award. It's just helping people with learning disabilities getting out into the wider community and that's basically what you know, we're actually engaging to do here at People First Term Side. You know, just helping people, you know, that maybe don't have those that's those skills or knowledge to get out. So, you know, go out, meet friends and just get out into the wider community and just about well, you know, you know, this is what's out here for you if you want to, you know, do things like this on your own or with your, you know, support workers or whoever you are with. It's a volunteer's job but it's it's seeing the it's seeing the smiles on people's faces at the end of the day. That's what life's all about. You know, it's not you know it's not the you know it's not oh yeah we need a wage. It's not you know you're helping people. Those you know those people are going out dead happy. 
Yeah, well that's yeah, that don't cost a penny. The Young People's Centre is actually owned by the Boys Club, um, we're the trustees, we're all volunteers, we've got no paid workers. Six years ago we decided, I decided that we would run a holiday club because it's a disadvantaged area and people can't pay £18, £20 a day and it's just gone from strength to strength and we do, tonight we've got a Halloween party, we're doing breakfast with Santa in December, um, trying to get real reindeers, um, and we do a Christmas party. We do um, the big success really is a holiday club for four pound a day. They can come and leave the children, and and there's there's a team of us. I do all the organising, but they do all the running round. We have one that does the cooking, one that does the cleaning, one does the plants, and we just work as a team really. It is rewarding, yeah, because there's children that are very um, shy when they come and believe me after a couple of weeks here they're not shy when they go out they build the confidence up and that's what it's about and so the kids is giving something back to the community we started this project a couple of years ago with regard to getting the community involved into the park one of the plans I had originally was to have a little cafe, which we've now got set up and we've got about 15 volunteers now working with that, and that brings more people in that want to volunteer on the park. We're also doing some community work with regard to bees and trees and grass and birds, which is obviously involving people with that. We've now targeted certain people to do that and they're going to be trained which will hopefully then bring more of the community into the project. This year has changed slightly that they've now got Pride Awards for actual groups rather than just individual people. So I thought that the fact that we do a lot of work here with the park, with a lot of community people and a lot of volunteers, I would enter for the award and was quite surprised when we actually won the award for the Ashton District Assembly area. The advantage with the award, when we're looking at funders, they could see that we're a very good organisation. The fact we've got a Green Flag Award, we've got the Bloom Award, and we've now got the Thames Side Pride Award, it obviously implies that we're a very good proof, and obviously then they were obviously more likely to fund us. So, yes, it is good for that. Plus, the members feel that it's a lot better that people are recognising what we're doing. You know, uh, with all this work that we're doing in the park, we then get recognition. In fact, so that would edge them on again to carry on. But most of them are. Uh, very interested in the park and really do want to support it. We've never really had a problem with volunteers, people just come along, especially with the cafe going now, so the cafe is a, a very talky point, people can chat what's happening in the park, what, what's the next event we're having and things like that. So what